what's going on you guys this is hyperion blue gt it's time to get ready for round five of the 2019-20 exhibition series of the nation's cup season three on gran turismo sports now we are racing at autodrome lago magador east for 14 laps and today this is going to be a one make race it is the re amera fd3s rx7 but this is going to be very perfect for this round we might get started so I hope I'm about to be using the UDRS library variant from the daily race from the last video. But this is going to be quite very good for the balance of performance that this will might be well perfect up to get started. So before enjoying watching the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out some more videos if you like. Feel free to enjoy it anytime you want for the entertainment. So let's go and get ready to race and let's get it started. This is going to be an all-out rotary one make race battle. We might be ready to go to take the 14 lap for the challenge. So let's go and get ready to get started. So let's begin. It's round 5 of the 3rd season of the 2019-20 Exhibitation Series of the Nations Cup. So let's go with the drivers and some libraries of the RE Amera FD3S. So looks like they call me Evo24 is taking the first place. Second place is XX5 Milk XX is, is third place is the Delta Niner is going in to take the regular style. MDog 1985 takes fourth place with his own custom design. PFD 2K12 is taking on the gray style RX7 with a red rim. Fast Chance Racing in 6th place with a regular stock style. 7th place is Tensor 120 in a one good awesome orange RX7. Followed by 8th place is myself in a UTRS library. 9th place is Bob Will GTU. 10th place is RCR. 29KHI33 in a Monster Energy Library style. Beer Nutton 420 takes 11th place to be ready to go. 12th place is Wabu W61QC in a nice looking Library style. Whirly 1057 in 13th place. 14th place is Roll with GT7 in a Red Bull B Hunters Library on the RX7. 15th place is Rex NE Specs in a white style. 16th place is the Gothic underscore Explorer with a nice flame style. 17th place is T-Rexian24. 18th place is BH underscore H Head. 19th place is Psycho Crowley in the Advent style RX7. And last place is King Ghidorah82 in a blue style. This is going to be a grid start with a false start check. So let's just gonna keep the brakes on hold. This is going to be a most awesome one make race. We'll be taking on between Ari Amira's RX7. We'll be taking the action on the Italian racetrack. So let's go and take five seconds. We'll be ready to go to be on the green. And we're hitting on the green at the go. This is gonna be quite very excited out there. So we are going on the way. We might be taking the challenge. Who's going to be the most fastest rotary race tuner car that this wheel might take the first place? But this is going to be quite going in and all man. Looks like the first turn is going to be quite giving the hard push. But this is going to be taking the effort ways to go right at it. This is going to be very intense to see it. Mostly other drivers are still trying to keep it up because the handling is going to be pretty heavy. Looks like I'm just definitely might be getting a little bit pole bump behind. If anything else happens by ramming onto each other, this is going to get reported in to be sent into the shadow ram. 
it's going to be a very tough start for having this race both so let's just try to keep it well careful because this is going to be a light handling situation for this race but this is going to be one competitive touring competition that this was going to be different like no other but it's going to be quite very tough for me to drop down on 15th place and starting out on 8th place but this is going to be taking few concentration and looks like there goes the yellow flag just everything might be giving the signal in to see it so hope this is going to be quite very risky that's going to be quite taking a little bit hard time for this moment of the race and oh man it looks like this is going to be quite very bumping around here so this is going to be a one tough challenging race if we have to try to keep it careful now going in onto the final turn is going to make it in onto the next lap. Oh, looks like this is going to be a very tough slam on the collision, folks. Two drivers just got hit at the final turn before going in onto the next lap. But this is going to be quite giving a much pretty effort if we have to try to keep it going. Because this is going to be taking a different race that this wheel might be needed to go in. Now, looks like the H head is now definitely he might be going in onto the penalty line so looks like this is going to be taking a little bit hard turns that this wheel might be doing a different way to do a little bit less power slide but this is definitely might be not having the time to do drifting it's a competition race for this round folks so let's try to have this moment to be one good competitive Bedhead is now going in to slow down by the penalty line, so hope this is going to be giving one step forward to be keep it up. We might be taking on that consecutive care and that this will might be keep it on going. Fast Gens Racing is now definitely might be keep it going on to Wheelie 1057. Looks like I'm on the scene to be on the overtake. This is going to be a longest chase that this is going to be catching up on it. Take some tough handling and some tough speed, but this is going to be taking the risk opportunity that this will might be taking the good ways to go. It takes one recent credibility to perform and it looks like Bob Will GTU is now definitely might be getting a little bit locked up on to be sliding up off the track. Looks like Fast Chance Racing is now definitely might be going back in onto 12th place. But remember, the, the final corner is going to be very risky and oh man it looks like Roll with GT7 just definitely might be slammed in and looks like there goes another one. This is going to be quite very hard to see it, but it's going to be very tough to keep it well performed to be on the progress way to see it. But it's going to be a very difficult way to, to perform that kind of a race. But this wheel might need it to keep it nice and easy because this isn't a best handling performance, but this is going to be a very good heavy opportunity for having this handling skills that this wheel might be performed to use the RE Amira FD3S wheel might be taking it one turning ways to go but it's going to be quite doing good to see how the top three drivers are doing they call me Devo24 is taking the lead to keep it going to do the best handling skills for having a one rotary RX7 that this is going to be quite doing perfectly well to see it it looks like M Dog 1985 is now stepping. He might be keep it defending in on second place. Tensor 120 is going to be keep it going in. It looks like this is going to be taking a little bit few gap distance. We might be getting a little bit far up ahead on M Dog 1985's position lead. Gap distance will be made by the choice because this is going to be taking the few speed. We might be coming in to do plenty of much effort to take it's going to be quite taking a little bit tough times to deal with the handling that this one might be going on the situation now it's going to get very tougher on that final turn so it looks like three standard lottery drivers are de now going into moving in onto the next lap only 10 laps remaining but this is going to take plenty of recent basic performance skills that this will might be need to do some practice before taking the practice, race day will might be getting started, but this is going to be very slightly different that this will might be giving the ways to perform. This is going to be quite doing better ways to have that turn to keep it nice and light. But there will be some few scratches out there, but we just definitely might be needs to respect the paint. 
Now going in to be on the progressions for having a turn. Looks like I'm about to take the action to be catching up with some several original design colors for each specific driver that this wheel might be keeping up. UTRS N Sport Tech is taking the action, is going to catching up onto the current position to be reached up onto the top position is going to be on the long way. It's going to be quite giving a slight re risk of a chance, but this wheel might be taking the best horsepower that this wheel might raise up the acceleration for a single rotary tuner car that this wheel might be beating up on the fastest lap wheel might be taking in. Now going in onto the final turn, it's going to be quite giving a little bit more slightly chance where it might be giving a clear safe zone on the position. Looks like Bob Will GTU is definitely almost loosened up on the grip. Just try to keep it well respectful. Moving on in onto the next lap. Lap number five is going in. I hope everybody is doing correctly that this will might be taking the good respectful time for this race. But it's gonna be quite given See how Gothic Explorer is now going faster in. This will might take seven place for for only one Canadian driver. That this will might be taking the best handling skills to keep it nice and tight to be performed. He will might be on his way to get closer in to reach up towards the sixth place driver. But it's going to be taking a long way. That this will might be going perfectly by the chances to keep on the handling on the mobility. But it's going to get very taking the tough chance to be on the inside turn what might be needed to take. Going in on to ninth place. This is gonna be quite doing well to keep it up. Defending position is gonna be taking the best running choice that this will might be taking the best inside turns to perform. It looks like this is gonna be quite very hard to see it. And it looks like UTRS and Sport Tech RX7 is now going in to stay on the good balancing position. It looks like RCR 29 KHI 33 is coming in. It looks like Bob Will GTU is now definitely might be taking on the last and final turn. And oh man, looks like this is gonna be taking a little bit hard time to see it. I guess the Delta Niner could be the one who just definitely might be slammed onto me on purpose. So looks like the paint is definitely might be scratched on the rear. This is going to be quite getting a little bit messy here. But this is not bumper cars, you guys. This is going to be a one make race for having a good moment. That this is going to have a lot of racing progression that this will might be performed. Fuel is at 75% remaining. But this is going to be quite doing well to take one pit stop that this will might be available for use. Just going to might need to make sure to keep it well monitored. Looks like the Delta Niner is about to be going in to take the run and going for 10th place. He will might catch up to the rest, but this is going to be a long distance that this is going to be very tough on the handling, so it might be keep it up on the pressure of the brakes. It looks like Bob Will GTU is coming back in on the 10th place. Delta Niner is now going to be taking one step distance, we might be getting a little bit closer in, but the handling is going to be taking some time for him whenever he's going to have to take the upper hand. Looks like he did. He's going back in onto 10th place. He did a very good job to keep up on the speed of the distance. We might be taking in for a heavy handling that this is going to get everything closer in. Now going back onto the final turn. This is going to be quite very slightly rough on the wrist. But this will might take the outside and inside turn. It's going to be quite giving some few techniques that this is going to get very roughly where it might be needed to take for only a few distance. But still try to keep it going for the chase. But this will might take lap number seven is going in. And oh man, it looks like RCR just definitely might be getting pushed off the track. And it looks like T-Rex and Ken 24 is definitely might be back on the track. Hope this is going to be taking a little bit under effect investigation on the way. But it's going to be quite giving a little bit unnecessary roughness during this round. But it's going to be quite giving a little bit more time to keep it up on the handling. This one might take some time for myself to keep it up the distance. But I hope I could probably have that turn to be going in to take the best of luck.
still going right at it, but it's going to be quite very intensifying to see how three regular Aria mirrors is now definitely might be taking in to keep it going. But it still definitely might be take some plenty of good handling skills where might be taking the good progression is going to be taking a lot of standard racing skills that this we might perform besides drifting. Here comes the last turn. It's going to be quite very tougher on this one. It looks like RCR 29 KHI is now coming back in. It looks like this is going to be giving his one theory comeback moment. It looks like Bob Will GTU is now entering the pit. But this is going to be quite giving one driver that this will might need to take a pit stop where only a single use will might be given a time. The tires are definitely might be doing good on the sports hearts compound. But it's going to be taking a little bit more time for the durability that this will might be keep it well endure. Now the fastest lap is definitely might be given a good set performed by Whirly 1057 or given a new time for only a minute and 35.44 seconds. He did a pretty good job for doing a lot of racing work that this one might be taking the fastest runs. We'll be taking on with some few corners to have the handle, heavy handling that this one might give him the opportunity. It's going to get very tougher on this one. Still continuing on to be in the middle position. Hope I could probably might need to find a way to get back up on top of the current position. It's going to be quite given the time. It's like Wap well, is now definitely might be take some plenty more handling time to be on the focus. So he's about to be catching up onto RCR 29 KHI because this is going to get very tougher to be back onto the final corner. This is going to be quite very slightly risk. We might be taking it very lightly. But looks like M Dog 1985 is now in the lead. So he's going in to be on the winning spot for the moment, folks. XX Flight Milk XX is now definitely in, in second place and looks like they call me Diesel24 in third place. Looks like this is going to be quite giving the most effort time of the moment for see how the top three drivers in the same car is going to be quite given the best handling skills that this one might be given the way to perform. But it always happens all the time that having a mistake is going to be giving the tough options so we just definitely might be need to be very careful. Looks like Wabao 61 QC is now tipping he might be going in. But this is going to be quite very tougher on that few distance. Hope this is going to be quite given a hard time to perform that turn. Hope I could probably keep it up to stay on a good defending position. But it's going to be quite giving a slight low risk. And the gap distance is that he might be given the same say by the bell. Will might be given the moment to give some extra space. This wheel might be keep it going on the forward edge, but it might be on the way. But that was going to be doing a lot of possible ways for every driver who really wants to do a clean race. But plenty of few mistakes by having some few damage marks on each rotary tuner card that this is going to be given the hard time that this one might take time to repair after this race ends. But now, only few drivers are now going into the pit stop, but this is going to have one time for use. But only four more to go on this run, but this is going to be quite given the best time. We might be getting in whatever we need to do, but it's going to be quite given the best moment for having the front row seats to be in the house. By the moment, I just finally reached up to be in 8th place since the race began onto the first lap. But this is going to be having a comeback moment that this will might be back on the rocks to be keep it going to have that rotary tuner card that this will might be keep it up on the pace. Hope I can probably do it wherever I can for UTRS and Sport Tech racing team will might be do it perfectly to keep it going faster. 
But I hope this is going to be taking the rewrite that this one might be taking a few damages to have that repair. But it's going to be quite very excited to see how the top three drivers are now definitely might be going in to keep it up onto the winning spot to be going right at it. So it looks like FX Flight Mill, Flight Mill XX is now definitely in the lead. They call me Devo24 is going back in onto second place. But this is going to be quite giving a slight risk for the top three drivers are now going in to take the battle of first place. This is going to be the most common battle that this one might be seeing how the top three drivers are going in to be on the wing goal. But this is going to be quite very tough on the handling that this one might be take the speed we might be going on for the much challenging mobility. Quality check is now definitely might be give it well assured so hope this will might be stay on track. Just gonna try to keep it well focusing up. But this race is about to get very slightly separated from each few gap distance by the current run on this lap. But this is going to have to take three more to go, but this is going to be quite doing excited to see it. Unfortunately, this one might be taking some few opponents that this is going to be taking a little bit more time to keep it going on the handling in. So it looks like getting a little bit loosened up on it. Just gonna have to be ready to defend. But Bulls is now going right on to the overtake, so looks like this is going to be taking some few distance so might be need to stay on track for the handling on the turns. I'll have to let him go through, but this will might pull down onto ninth place. And looks like this is going to be in lap number 12 folks, only two more to go. This is going to be quite giving the best total time that this one might be keep it well monitor check on it. 18 minutes and 30 seconds since the race began. But this is going to be taking a little bit more heavy handling that this is going to be taking the, a little bit more time. But it's always going competitive. But this one might take some skill turns that this one might be taking some few tire grips that this one might be giving a little bit more likely to perform. Going in onto the small straight, looks like I'm about to catch up onto Wapu W61QC is now definitely might be pulling the brake on that turn. It's going to be getting a little bit inside that this one might be giving the best ways to deal with the gap distance we might be keep it going forward for only 1.2 seconds up ahead. Getting a little bit slower, just gonna might need to keep it well careful. That should probably take some spare acceleration, we might be keep it up on the top speed. Lap number 13 is about to be going in, only one more to go, but this race is about to be over very soon folks. Looks like this is going to be quite see how Whirly 1057 is going back on to first place. But this is going to be quite very excited to see how they call me Devo and XX Fight Mill XX, XX is now going to be taking the neck on neck, catching up battling in to see it. So it looks like this is going to be quite good to see how the top three drivers are battling out to be in the goal first place winner that this is going to be taking a lot of few effort strategies that this will might take a lot of handling performance. But this is going to be quite taking the efforts so I hope this will might be giving the three drivers will might be keep it going. But this is going to be quite giving the position switched in that this will might be keep it nice and tight to be coming handy. Going in back on to the S turn, so hope this is going to be quite giving some few handling curves on to the corners. And looks like this is going to be quite to see how T Rexican 24 is now going in onto ninth place. 
Here comes the final turn for the top three drivers, but they're about to make it one step forward to, to entering in onto the final lap of the race. But it's going to be quite good to see it, how Whirly 1057 is now going in to, to be in first place. We'll be having some more gap distance we might be giving the spare time. So here we go folks, the final lap is on its way. But this is going to be quite very excited to see how everybody is going right on it. But it looks like the other three drivers are now going in to catch up to the top three drivers are now going to be going in. Whirly 1057 is going in to stay in third first place. They Call Me Depot 24 is going to stay in second place to keep it well defended. And then looks like this is going to be taking the best handling skills that this will might be keep it track on going. It looks like Tensor 120 is now going into third place. And this is going to be see how XX, Black Milk XX is now going back onto fourth place. And now he is back onto third place. This is going to be quite giving a lot of few challenging struggles to see how the third place drivers is now going to be well determined. And it looks like MDOG 1985 is storming in onto th third place. He's going in to take the third place at the finish. Whirly 1057 is going to take on some few turns. We might be going in before taking on the final corner is going to be quite taking the slight beat risk. And it looks like, oh man, it looks like Waboos W61QC just definitely might be got spun out and then takes that recovery. That wheel might be making a way to be a night place. And here comes the final stretch, folks. Whirly 1057 is about to take the final run. But this is going to be quite very excellent to see it, folks. Whirly 1057 has finally reached the checker flag at the podium. He has finally won the fifth season of the 2019-20 Exhibition Series of the Nations Cup. Whirly 1057 wins the one mix race of the RE Amera FC3S RX7 Racing Challenge. That's going to be quite given the best showdown that this group might be given the best ways to perform. A lot of epic action, handling, and high speed distance we might be dealing in that this is going to be quite very awesome out there. Now, looks like I just finally made it into ninth place. So this is going to be quite very good to see how the top three drivers are definitely might be pretty good to battling out on it. M Dog 1985, Tensor 120, and XX Fight Mill XX has definitely did a pretty good job for taking the struggle to do the battle of third place. But this is going to be one epic one make race to be on the showdown that this is going to be having the best part for the moment. So I hope this is going to be quite doing pretty good to take the clean race in ninth place. But this is going to be quite taking some few consecutive race record that this one might be doing a lot of progress. It was pretty awesome out there folks. A one make race to have a lot of action that this is going to be quite very brilliant. So I hope this will might be given the best ways to see how this race might go. So I hope this is going to be quite good to have really 1057 was congratulations to be in the win. But this is going to be quite doing good to see how every racing skills in a RE Amera FD3S RX7 is that we might be taking a lot of racing skills to perform. Unfortunately, there is going to be taking some criticism, so just going to might be able to make sure, try not to get slammed onto each other, because this is going to be taking some plenty of efforts that needs to do a lot of practice before going into the next race. But try not, try not to do any negativity chat comments. But this is gonna might need to do plenty of practice before, probably later on in the next season, before this is going to get everything might be need to take. So, can't argue with that. This will might be taking some racing skills. Will might be taking a great recovery that this will might be needs to take a moment. But it was definitely might be quite taking some few mistakes out there from the first lap. But it was pretty good, but somehow we just definitely might be need to have a racing respectful moment before we're about to get started for one good competition race. Things are going to have a one make race for a competition for the RE Amera FD3S RX7. 
So I hope we did very good out there. That this world might be taking a lot of good effort skills. We might be keep it up or having a good chance for having a good clean race. But sometimes having a mistakes is going to be quite taking the risk. So we we're always going to be very careful that we just definitely don't want to get bumping into each other. So right now for the next race is going to be at Branch Hatch Grand Prix for the Group 4 race. So we're about to get started to begin to take some practice, but we will always going to get ready to move on. We'll go for the different racing category. Alright folks, glad that you really enjoyed this race. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, bell for notification uploads and the links on the description down below if you want to see more. And library blog videos are available to watch anytime you want, so this will be the entertainment showcase about different cars with libraries I have been made. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for continuing on on the Nations Cup on Gran Turismo Sports, and I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing, stay clean.